Prime Minister of Greece, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, to give his address. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, a year ago it was not obvious that this peace conference would take place. Certainly, uh, Russia did everything it could in order to prevent it from happening, yet uh, today 101 countries and international organizations are represented around this table. Uh, demonstrating, as the Prime Minister of Netherlands said, that this is uh, indeed the war in Ukraine is indeed a global issue. For various reasons, probably the most important one, which was discussed in our breakout sessions, the question of food security. When uh, we hear uh, the President uh, of Kenya mentioning the impact uh, of the availability and price of fertilizers has had on its own farmers, we understand the tremendous implications of this war on global food security. And uh, of course, I would like to express my satisfaction that in the conclusions in the joint communique, we have highlighted the importance of uh, maintaining free and full and safe commercial navigation uh, and supporting Ukraine in order to protect its ports and its infrastructures. Uh, I was with Volodymyr in Odessa uh, when a Russian missile actually struck the port. And the protection of Ukrainian infrastructure is absolutely critical uh, in maintaining the level of Ukrainian exports, which in turn are absolutely critical in order to maintain global prices of food. The second and probably most important reason why this war has become a global issue is the fact that we're all here to um, uh, demonstrate our commitment to a rules-based international order to confirm the primacy of the UN Charter, to send a very clear message that sovereignty must be respected, that borders cannot be changed by force, that international rules and norms must be upheld, that countries and people have a right to choose their own form of government and determine their own destiny and their own future, that nuclear safety cannot be endangered, that food cannot be weaponized. We speak about a just and lasting peace. But I think we can all agree around this table that this peace cannot be a result of Ukrainian capitulation. And that is why Greece, with many other countries, will continue to support Ukraine to defend itself in order to get to the point of having a credible negotiation reaching a just and lasting peace. Finally, let me stress the importance of compliance with inter international humanitarian law and international human rights law. This is an absolute priority, not just in Ukraine, but in Gaza, in Sudan. We must, above all, prioritize the protection of civilian population, ensure the safe return of unlawfully deported or forcibly transferred children, as well as the release of unlawfully detained civilians and the further exchange of prisoners in war. Again, congratulations for making this peace conference a reality. Thank you, Prime Minister.